Hey guys, welcome to this fishhound.com product sponsored review. Um, we're going to be reviewing the Demiki mouse sirwin jig head. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It's Again, Demiki is a Japanese com company, but uh, it is a small little shaky uh, revolving jig head. It's really cool. comes in this little nice bag. I love hook bags like this. The plasticky stuff, like the laser sharp bag, I hate those. I like this nice soft latex because your hooks don't penetrate. It's just a quality bag. Let's take a couple of them out of the package. Comes four to a pack. I've already got one rigged up on a needle upstairs on my rod. I've been fishing this thing a lot in the grass, guys. There's the bait. I know you probably can't see it all that well. But as you can see, it has a very small hook on it. It's like a one-op. But that hook, here's the thing. That hook is easily changeable, which is what I've been doing. And it has, the reason it's called Masurin is I'm pretty sure, looked it up, that Masurin is a Japanese word for mouse. And as you can see on that head, it's kind of shaped like the upturned toe, nose of a mouth, of a mouse, sorry. It's pretty sweet. It's got a pretty heavy duty split ring for its size in there. I've pulled on it pretty hard. It hasn't flexed. It's, I don't know if I would call it owner hyperwire, but it's a quality little split ring. It's got a nice super sharp hook, but my only problem is that hook is a little bit small for bass fishing baits. I normally change all my hooks on uh, small jig heads to a 3 8 Not a 3 8 sorry. I don't even know what I'm saying right now a uh, three-aught hook because then it's easy to rig up a craw, easy to rig up a little tube or uh, my favorite method which is the big wood baits needle. If I'm throwing the needle on this it's pretty much like a heavier version and it sinks a little bit faster than the fluke. It's like a fluke but it's a little bit heavier which is pretty sweet. It you know it's not one of those things that sinks to the bottom in a second in five feet of water but it doesn't sink as slow as a fluke. It can kind of dig in the grass a little bit you know kick up a little mud you can drop it, shake it a little bit. It's a pretty sweet little little rig. All right, guys, I'm going to show you a little close-up shot of this bait so you can really get the feel of what this bait does and how it looks. Thanks for watching.